This piece by Grace Brophy, we videotaped earlier, that can be edited here, it is number 34. The title is My Favorite Flower. These are, this is an iris, I believe, and watercolor. This piece is a pastel, it's by artist Jean Damatsi, D-E-M-O-T-S-E-S, -E -E Constitution, Marsh One. As an artist and educator, I find my inspiration often comes from my work with mature students. Creativity, after all, may be the result of interactions, and my work always motivates and informs my art. Constitution March 1, March 1. The artist's name is Rose Chaffee. Zandra at work is the title of the piece and it's an oil. We talk with Rose on a couple of occasions and should edit in those clips into this section. This is Rose's granddaughter many years ago, several years ago, painting outside. It's a painting number 12 by Anita Louise Riley. That's not a painting, sorry, it's a photograph. We also have a videotape earlier of this, an interview with the artist, Anita Louise Riley. This is what she says. My inspiration as a fine art photographer comes from a lifelong love of photography and flowers. The images I create reveals the very simple yet intricate details, colors and textures of flowers. Through my floral portraits, I wish to show the full beauty of the splendid flower. This piece is by artist Ari DeLevy, Vietnamese Well. It's an oil on canvas. The artist says in the statement, I work with materials such as wood, stained glass, clay, steel, and oil on canvas. They are all forms of self-expression. When I travel, a favorite activity, my eye often catches views and objects that I photograph and later paint. In a recent trip to Vietnam, the beauty of the country and the people was compelling and I resulted and resulted in a series of six paintings. The present one, Vietnamese Well, is in a tiny village tucked behind a wall. The serenity of the scene inspired me. When I paint, I get lost, shut out the surrounding world, and concentrate on creating the image on canvas. It is very satisfying. Fred Spinowitz is the artist. The title of the piece is Letter in Flames. It's a digital print from the artist's watercolor. The artist's statement is, my work in a variety of medium combines abstraction and Hebrew calligraphy. The tension that is created by the contrast of the freedom and spontaneity of abstract color with the discipline, control, and calligraphy is part of the dynamic that I seek in my art. As the passages and the phrases dance in my head, 
The rich color is applied, splashed on the canvas or watercolor paper. In this particular work, the scrolls are burning in a synagogue in Poland in 1943 as, as the letters fly to heaven. This piece is by John Gordon, John R. Gordon. It's called Watching the Breakers. The medium is watercolor, and it's number 48. I have been drawing and painting since early childhood, and despite the lack of formal training, I feel I have attained a certain level of competence in those areas. I am, however, at a loss to explain my motivation other than to say that I take pleasure in reflecting the creation of man and nature, and to leave judgment of my artwork to the viewer. This piece was commented on a little bit earlier. The artist's name is Alan Boyarski, number 35. The title is Bird Flying on a Sunday Afternoon. Digital Photography is the Medium. Artist statement about what motivates him. I look for the intricacies of the small details while viewing through my lens. As I pick up my camera, my world comes to life. I see color and form I normally cannot comprehend otherwise. Each time I look through the viewfinder, never knowing what to expect within my world, which is always changing in light and space, no matter where I am or how I feel, I am a different person with only one goal in mind, preparing myself for the day's adventure and getting lost within my world of botanical bliss. Being disabled in a wheelchair and dealing on life's terms, I have found a way of displacing my physical problems by photographing the perfect form. I can find. This piece was videotaped earlier with the artist. It's number nine. The artist's name is Cecilia Duncan. Graceful movements. It's a watercolor. We should edit in the clip with Cecilia Duncan. This piece is by Martin Cantor, number 22. The title is Old Art, and it's a, the medium is color photography. And the artist's statement is as follows. My life has been tied to creativity, both in my former profession as a chemist and as a photographer. The universe is filled with interesting and beautiful things, some obvious and some which may, must be sought out creatively. Since my childhood, I've used my camera to search out and record these. With the advent of the digital camera, a new layer has been put on these recordings. Since I can now add additional... My battery died and I had to get a new battery. I'm going to read the artist's statement again. The artist is Martin Cantor. The title is Old Art, and the medium is Color Photography. It's number 22. The artist's statement 
on motivation is as follows. My life has been tied to creativity, both in my former profession as a chemist and as a photographer. The universe is filled with interesting and beautiful things, some obvious and some which must be sought out creatively. Since my childhood, I've used my camera to search out and record these. With the advent of the digital camera, a new layer has been put on those recordings, on these recordings, since I can now add additional creativity to these photographs in a way that film cameras did not allow. Creativity is now a bonding between the artist, the camera, and the computer. Excellent. This piece is by artist H. David Stein, Frigid Fractal. It's a photograph, number 30. It's a large piece. I'm going to read his statement. The world is a visually fascinating and beautiful place. We just have to take the time to appreciate it. Often the beauty is self-evident, as in a sunset or a flower. At other times we fail to notice the inherent splendor unless we make the effort to look deeper into the component parts or view the object from a different vantage point. The goal of my photography is to enable the viewer to see what I have seen and to undergo the same emotions I experienced. If I am a successful, if I am successful, the viewer will be able to appreciate the object or vista from the same vantage point that I have. This piece is by Joan Schneider. The name is A View of the Lighthouse. It's a watercolor, number 44. I am very fortunate to live in the scenic lower Hudson Valley and I think this inspires me to see and paint the beauty around me. I am motivated each day as I see the early morning sun bounce off the palisades and embrace the landscape all along the river. As a plain air painter, I have had some wonderful experiences while painting. I regularly take art classes which helps to stimulate my creativity. And I have to say my biggest inspirations are my children who encourage me. If you see my painting along the Hudson River with my big brimmed hat with feathers in it, please come over and say hello. This next piece in this aisle in this quarter is by Fanny Sloan. It's number 21. The title is Forgotten Lake. It's an oil on canvas. And the talk with Fanny is in another section, an earlier section of the videotape. Please edit it in here. This piece is by Robert Heinrichs, H-E-I-N-R-I-C-H-S. Its title is Riverboat, the medium is watercolor, number 32.
The statement on motivation and creativity is as follows. I am motivated by beauty and light and inspired by emotional responses to my surroundings. When what I see or feel or smell brings me joy of the presence or feelings of nostalgia from the past, I attempt to convey these responses to others via my art so that others may share in them too. I am mostly inspired by buildings, landscapes, and street scenes. The artist of this piece is Patty Chadwick. It's number 33. The title is Peace and the medium is watercolor. Creating a piece of art is much like an itch that demands to be scratched. Until an idea is rendered, there's no peace, probably genetic. My grandfather, father, mother, sister, son have made their livings as artists. My kids and grandchildren seem similarly driven. With four kids and teaching 20 plus years, there was no time left for art, but it was never far from my mind. Three years ago, my new friend, a new friend rather, urged me to start. I find myself overwhelmed by ideas and images, local scenes, places camped, camped in, traveled to, animals raised, rehabilitated, memories, and nature's beauty. Amazing. This artist only started three years ago. This piece is by Sister Lina Mastroianni, M-A-S-T-R-O-I-A-N-N-I. -N -N the title is Golden Peace, Deep Tranquility, Acrylic Paint. What motivates and inspires my creativity as an artist, I love to share the grandeur of life and its simple yet colorful beauty. It can be brought forth through the delicate Im imaginative strokes of the mystical motion of the paintbrush. I'm reading this statement again. What motivates and inspires my creativity as an artist I love to share the grandeur of life in its simplest yet colorful beauty. It can be brought forth through the delicate imaginative strokes of the mystical motion of the paintbrush. The artist is Jim Simpson. Alamuchi Farm, A L L M, sorry, A L L A M U C H Y Farm. The medium is watercolor. Number 28. Painting is a continuing search for personal expression that explores feelings, moods, and emotions through design, color, and value. At times, even the choice of paper and brush sizes seem to play a major role. I'm sorry, I'm going to read this again. Painting is a continuing search for personal expression that explores feelings, moods, and emotions through design, color, and values. At times, even the choice of paper and brush sizes seems to play a role. When happy with what has happened on the paper, the artist is then willing to share this experience and hopes the viewer too can find his own personal feelings there.
Hello. Hi. Are you? Yes. 